Messages on Sam's answering machine. Hey, uh, Sam, Zach, uh, I was just calling, I don't know how this works. Um, for some reason, when you Google my name, uh, <laughs> one of the first things that comes up is Zach Oyama fired <laughs> oh, from a no. YouTube live video where you <laughs> no. fire me as a joke. And oh, I'm just no. like, wonder, like, I just don't, I don't, I wonder if there's a way like to like, like, I don't know what, how priorities work on that. <laughs> it's just confusing. Some people think I'm actually fired. Gosh, uh, I have the sad duty today of having to fire Zach Oyama. Uh, he's been a College Humor cast member with us for a while, but I got to get rid of him. I just don't want to pay him anymore. He should be here any moment. Get ready to help me out. Um, hey, Zach. Hey, Zach. Uh, come on in, buddy. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, thanks for coming in. Oh, no problem. Yeah. And uh, and happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no real easy way to say this, but uh, I gotta let you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I don't. Uh, I don't have a choice in things shaping up the way they are. I have to let you go so you'll be terminated at the end of the year, and next year you'll be without a job. What? Why? Look, I have it on good authority, and I've heard from the CIA and the FBI, they've been calling me personally, I have friends in those places, that you, as, as uh, very much like in the plot of a Nicolas Cage movie, are planning to steal the Declaration of Independence. And that's a... That's, I can't have that here. But, but we why, don't want that but kind of how is that? Why does it have to d have anything to do with my job? Just because I want to possess the Declaration of Independence, do you want to take it back and see if there's maybe a map on the back? Why? Why is that? Why does that have to do with our job? See, we've had this conversation before. There's no map on the back. Well, you don't of the know Declaration that. Also, there's okay. There's a secret society called the Templars, and they're trying to take the map first. And if I steal it first, then maybe they won't. Uh, you know, jeopardize the, the beautiful history of America. Oh, so you, you actually think this is a patriotic act. Yes. You think that you're helping the country yes. by sealing if, the Declaration of Independence. You know, and if I, if I do that, maybe I can, you know, keep it and have it in my room. <sighs> you gotta stop playing Nicolas Cage. The, the, the country doesn't need another Nicolas Cage. It has Nicolas Cage. Not for long, man. I mean, it's not just the Declaration of Independence. It's not just the shampoo. What? Okay, so you're you're wow. you're too. I, I'm just being candid here. I'm just being candid. You're too funny for this place. This is a serious place of work. You know I'm not funny at all. Okay, here's a joke. Not not. Who's there? <laughs> Doug. Doug who? I don't know. That's the best I could do right now. I am not funny. You don't have an unfunny bone in your body. You know, it seems like that should be a compliment, but. Uh, I don't really know how to take it, I guess. Here, here's another thing. A long list list of reasons? reasons? There's so, so many reasons. Of, there are so many reasons, and they're all justified. The other day, we were all at that big company meeting, and I asked if anyone had any questions. And you raised your hand, and you asked who the real Slim Shady was. As if it was you. I just want to know. Oh. <laughs> As if it was you, Zach. And you're not the real Slim Shady. I mean, look. No, sit down. The real Slim Shady would stand up. Yeah. And you should sit down, Zach. I think I'm sit the real down. Slim Shady, okay? What's wrong with that? What possible evidence do you have that you're the real Slim Shady? There's so many of them, and there's only one real one. How do we know that Eminem is the real Slim Shady? He, he came up with the term. So? If I came up with the, the term for, like, Godzilla, it doesn't mean I'm Godzilla. I can swallow a bottle of alcohol and I feel like Godzilla. You can just come up with terms. Yeah, I'm glad to see you finally. Yeah, okay, just, taking some give, let me, just give me some feedback and ways I can improve. I don't have to be fired for all these reasons. You can just give me the note and I can go on, right? Well, fine, then here's another one, Zach. You pick too many quarters off the floor. A, how are you going to get rich looking for quarters? It adds up. It's, not a, it's, not, it's a long-term game, quarters on the ground. One quarter, two quarter, three quarter, four quarters is a dollar. Five quarters, six quarters, seven quarters, eight quarters is two dollars. By then, eight quarters, that's two dollars. I guess I didn't think about that. Here's another one, Zach, and if I, I'm going to be honest, it, it bothers the fuck shit out of me. Why on earth 
would you type out 2K16 instead of 2016? Why 2K16? It saves time. It fundamentally okay, so does not I can't, save time. I, I can't waste time by writing by picking up quarters, and I can't save time by writing no, no, a K? No, no, Zach, follow my logic. When you write 2K16, you're replacing the zero with a K. Okay, I'm a, okay. That is merely replacing one character if it was a, for another. Okay, if it was if we weren't in the teens, it would save time. If I said 2K4. Listen, I mean, here's here's another thing. And, and I, it makes me feel like I don't know you very well. You won't bring in your pet parrot. Look, I'm not going to bring Carol in here. You you talk about her all the time. She has her own Instagram account. Yeah. Look. And, and I've never met her before, and I feel like... I'm insecure a... about how much Carol likes me, okay? And I'm, a, I'm scared if I bring my pet parrot Carol in here, people will flock to her. And she will love them more than she loves me, okay? Is that what you want to hear? See, it's that flock pun, flock to her, that makes me think you're too funny for this office. I don't feel very funny. Look, uh, I'll bring Carol in, and I'll just try to be okay with the fact that maybe I'm not number one in Carol's life, okay? That's right. She's She's got to spread her wings and meet new people. You just did the same thing I just did. Well, I'm the boss. I get to do whatever I want. You don't have a beard. And and from where I'm sitting, as a comedy person, it's your duty to grow a bad beard. You don't have a, a good beard or a bad one. When I grow out my facial hair, it looks like I'm a 14-year-old teenager who's trying way too hard to have a beard. I mean, this was an April Fool's prank, and I guess I can't fault you for an April Fool's prank, but you color all the toilet pl uh, paper black so that you can't check to see if you've pooped. That's an that's a inconsiderate, inconsiderate I guess thing. I guess I see what you mean by I'm too funny. <laughs>